Good day, everybody. I am Bon Justity Cleber of St. Jerome and Miliani, grade 11 student, and I'm taking humanities and social sciences from. I'm here in front of you to talk about something or some little problems that you may have encountered when you entered the senior high school level. It was developed because of the K-12 curriculum. Aside from bullying, it was developed as strand by strand. It mainly attacks the level of learning of a student. I guess you have already noticed it. It was the strand discrimination. Strand discrimination have a great effect on a student, not just in mental, but also in academic performance of a student. Hmm. If I could base on my own experience, I have already encountered and I have already felt of being discriminated because of my own strand. Then why? Why do they discriminate each other? Usually it was from a teacher, a teacher that had favoritism. If they give more favor to the strand that they think have or has, has a higher level of learning, education, attention, and they give more opportunities for them. Then why does discrimination strikes? Do they get any good effect when they discriminate each other? For example, the humanities and social sciences strand. We call them as noise pollution. The gas for the general academic strand, because it was the strand of falling stars. The ABM, or the accountancy and business management strand, because they always use calculators, then cell phones and gadgets. But there was an amazing strand. This strand have never felt being discriminated. This strand is STEM. The science, technology, engineering, and mathematics strand. You know why? Because the teachers always call them science class, pilot class. Why? Because they think this strand was smarter than other strands. Eh. But why does strand discrimination strikes? The K-12 curriculum of the Department of Education was created as a training ground. For us, senior high school students, for our upcoming college, each strand was created equal. Each strand had their own strengths and weaknesses. Can we have unity? Can we just help each other weaknesses? We are the young generation. We are the hope of our better future. Can we be careful for every word that we release? Because your words are very powerful, can destroy the life of an individual. Once again, I'm Bon Justi Tiglaver of St. Jerome Emiliani. I'm a grade 11 student and from Humanities and Social Sciences Strand. Thank you for watching.